Welcome to the Daily Driver Show. Today we're talking about boots. Let's go. The boots that we're going to be talking about today are from Red Wing. I bought these at an actual Red Wing store. These are the boots right here. I'm not exactly sure of the exact name of these if you were to look them up on the website. Um, actually, it might be on the receipt. Let me see. Six inch brown work boot. Well, that's a fancy name. Anyways, retail price is $149.99. But that's the name. I mean, it just says six inch brown work boot. Anyways, these are composite toe. They're not the exact steel toe, but they are the, uh, the composite. The brand of them is uh, Works. They are waterproof. These boots, they're the slip resistant as well, but these boots, let me tell you, I do not like these. These are one of the worst pair of boots I have ever worn. It may be different for other people. Oh, all over the table. Maybe different for other people, I don't know. But um, several issues I have with them would be the six inch, now I've had a lot of six inch uh, boots before, and I've never had one where the back has hurt the back of my leg as bad as these. Now, like I said, I've had a lot of them before and they've never given me any issues, but these, for some reason, they will just tear the back of your legs up. The other thing, the shoelaces, when you have them all laced up and tied up and everything, they don't stay in these eyelets very well at all. So as you're, like I'm a truck driver, as you're driving or as you're, you know, working in and out of the truck or something, what'll happen is you'll feel like your boot just came untied. You look down, it's tied, but these slipped out of these. So then you have to untie the boot, you gotta tighten it back down, you have to strap it back in, use it. I mean, it, it's just a pain. As far as flexibility, you don't really have any. Like I'm pushing pretty hard there and it, they don't really flex. Um, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing. I'm just letting you know overall, they don't really flex very well at all. Posit toe ends right there. So the rest of the, uh, the uh, front there is uh, the composite toe. As far as slip resistant, you know, going in and out of restaurants and stuff like that with the greasy floors, these still slip a little bit. I don't think you're really gonna find anything that you know you can just step on grease or whatever you want and not slide at all. So keep that in mind when you're looking at boots. But mainly, these you, you still slide around a little bit. So I wouldn't even call these slip resistant at all. They're not good in the snow, they're not good on the ice, they're not good oil resistant and slip resistant. I'm trying to read that and it's upside down. Oil resistance and slip resistance. No. Waterproof wise, I've walked through some pretty big puddles. I've, you know, trekked through the snow and everything. Feet have never gotten wet. So that's a definite plus for me. Uh, because I don't want to be just starting the route and my feet are going to be soaked already. It's a mess. But like I said, price wise, $150, $149.99 was the, the price. To me, they're not worth that. Um, I wouldn't really spend more than 80 bucks on these. Everybody's situation is different. You know, if this is the type of boot you're looking for, I would not recommend these at all. But like I said, everybody's different. Um, it's mainly, what is it? It's the left boot that the back will hurt, and it's the right boot that always comes untied. I don't know how, but that's what it is. It's annoying, it's in the way, it's just a constant pain. So I do have another steel toe boot that I usually wear in place of these, strictly because I cannot stand having my feet hurt or my legs hurt or anything, all because of the boots I'm wearing. That doesn't sit well with me. I'm not saying that Red Wing has good stuff, I'm not saying Red Wing has bad stuff. I know they're a very well-named brand, named brand they're a very well known name brand but these ones were just absolutely terrible and the only reason I had to go with these 
is because the several pairs I looked at online, I think I had like four pairs I looked at online, and when I went into the store, I'm like, well, these are the ones I'm looking for. And he's like, oh, we don't have those. Okay, what about this one? He's like, no, we don't have those. What about this one? Nope, we don't have those. On and on and on and on. And I'm like, well, okay. So then I'm looking at the shelves and everything and stumbled up across these bad boys. And that's exactly what they are. Bad. I'm not saying that the ones I would have found online would have been any better. But these, they're junk. I mean, they're solid. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very high quality. But for me, they don't work. And that's strictly my opinion. It may work for you. It may not work for you. If you want, check them out. If not, don't worry about it. <clears throat> this was from January 31st of 2020. And here we are now in... Uh, mid-April. Well, I've given them a good run and I just, I thought maybe once they start breaking in more that they would be better, but they're not. I'm not sure what the exchange policy is, if I have to return within 30 days or what, since they have been used. So I'll probably just hang on to them and uh, use them for, you know, whatever. I mean, they, it didn't cost that much, so it's really not that big of a deal. So, that's really going to be it. I do have several other boot reviews that are going to be coming out as well. So, check those out on the daily reviews as well. Check out the daily vlogs. I try to make a vlog usually every day, but it's tough when life happens and there's kids involved. I mean, there's just so much going on. And, you know, Mrs. Driver and I, we try to make as much time as we can to be able to to record different things and vlog and get the content out for you. But it's very difficult. So... Bear with us. We're trying the best we can here at the Daily Driver Show. But uh, like these videos, comment if you have any suggestions on any reviews or anything like that. Any concerns or questions, please ask them in the comments. I will be happy to answer them whenever I can. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, like the Daily Driver Show on Facebook as well as Instagram for a little behind the scenes stuff like that as well. And uh, stay tuned for more. Have a great day, and have a great hike.